Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Mrinmoy Pramanik. I teach Comparative Indian Language and Literature at the University of Calcutta. Now we will discuss Manjula Padmanabhan's Harvest. The content of this module is written by Safia Begum, University of Hyderabad. Manjula Padmanabhan was born in Delhi in the year of 1953. She has spent her early years of her life in Europe and Southeast Asia. She returned to India and she graduated with economics and later did MA in history from Bombay University. Apart from writing play and fiction, she is also an artist on her own. Her iconic comic strip character Suki first appeared in 1980 and 1990s in the Sunday Observer. Further, it has also appeared in the Pioneer. Now, the same appears in the business line once a week. Now, let us talk about uh, noted works of the playwright Manjula Padmanabhan. Manjula has written widely across various genres. Some of her acclaimed plays are Harvest, Lights Out, Hidden Fires, etc. She also have, has uh, written short stories and fiction for children. There are also many works like Double Talk, Hot Death, Cold Soup in 1996, uh, This is Suki, uh, Kleptomania and so on. She has also penned her autobiographical novel Getting There and wrote Escape in 2008. A science fiction for adults, further uh, Mouse Attack 2003, Mouse Invader 2005 and We Are Different 2013 are important works of art. Her recent book is a science fiction novel entitled The Island of Lost Girls and then there is Three Virgins and Other Stories published in 2014. Her play Harvest won the first prize in the Osmania Prize for Theatre in 1997. Now, uh, let us talk uh, a bit about the style, style of uh, his, her writing. Some writers pay attention to language or the performance through language. For some writers, the issues they portray in their plays become very much significant. Manjula Padmanabhan's plays are issues oriented and deal with social reality. Thus, her style and content is realistic in a believable manner. The plays are majorly women centric and thus presented from their perspective. Her plays have opportunity in order to create a sense of the real world. Michel Lene Wander says, though disguises the construction of the world and makes it appear uh, seamless and natural and hence appropriate. It puts ordinary and working class people at easy and makes them more receptive to political and social ideas and behaviors that they may otherwise avoid. Thus, in order to create sense of awareness and to take them to the depth of an issue uh, that takes place in their everyday life, she tries to create a wonderful connection between the scenes. The incidents are presented in such a way that uh, as if uh, they are uh, really taking place in front of the audience or the readers. Manjula Padmanavan wrote his play Harvest 1997 for the first international Unasis competition. Now, let us talk about the setting and the background of the play uh, from here. Uh, the play is later made into film uh, called uh, Deham in 2001 by Govind Nehlani, who is an acclaimed film director. The setting of the play is in an Indian metropolis that presents the conditions of the third world country. The play is based on the organ donation whose donors are from the third world and the recipients are from the first world. Padmanavan says that donors and receivers should take on the racial identities names, costumes and accents most suited 
to the location of production. It matters only that there be a highly recognizable distinction between the two groups reflected in speech, clothing and appearance. Now, let us talk about plot of the play. The play is divided into three acts set in Mumbai in 2010. The play takes us to the tensed apartment of a poor family. It narrates the stories of Om, the chief protagonist of the play and his family members. The entire family goes through a serious economic problem once Om is dismissed from uh, his uh, clerical job. Now, Om has agreed to donate his organs by contractual promise through an inter planter corporation to some first world character Jinni. Gradually, Jinni takes hold of his family and dis, uh, discipline them uh, to a routine through controlled module. The events turn differently and Jitu, Om's younger brother is taken mistakenly as the donor by the members of the corporation. Om runs away from the scene and leaves others to face the consequences. Summary of the play, the storyline. As we discussed, the play deals with human organs selling uh, whose recipients are from first world countries like North America and donors from the third world countries like India. The facilitator is a US based transnational corporation called Interplant Services. The selling of organs takes place for money. Ginny, a woman from America is the organ receiver and Om, the donor is from India who is selling his organs to her. Ginny is not present on the stage and visible only in the video dictating hygienic and healthy lifestyle to Om and his family members. Through Om, the whole family especially Jitu and Jaya also get into the contract. Thus, the four donors belong to the same family that is Om, Jaya, Ma and Jitu. When Om discloses the nature of his new job to Jaya, she tries to make him understand the consequences of it. However, Om never tries to understand what Jaya says. When he tells the same thing to his mother, she seems happy on the protest of getting money and first world comforts. However, Om hides his uh, marital status from the company as the contract demanded unmarried donors. Thus, uh, he introduces Jaya as Jitu's wife and Zitu as uh, his brother-in-law. Jinni does not demand any of Om's organ instantly. She gradually makes uh, the family's uh, small apartment sanitize and install all the necessary devices including a conduct module and multicolored uh, pellets and a soul food source uh, for the family. The conduct module is installed to interact with Om whenever Jinni wants to instruct something to him. A video coach also brought to Ma to enjoy and to devoid her of any human interaction. Gradually, the plan un unravels when the company mistakenly takes G2 instead of Om for donation. Jaya tries to make the girls, but uh, remain unsuccessful. Uh, Jitu is a gigolo and Jaya share a clandestine relationship with him. Jitu brings home dart and disease with him, this repulse Om and Ma. They also fear how Jini might react to this, thus they derive him out of home, but Jaya feels for him. When the guards appear to take the donor, Om fears and hides. They forcibly take Jitu, mistaking him as Om. Jitu returns uh, home blind. The ordeal does not end here. Now, Jitu can only see whenever Jini projects images directly into his mind through the contact module. He is now enhanced with the Jini's voice and he begins to feel sexual gratifications in the possibility of a very important part of his body getting transplanted into her body. His ordeal ends when he is taken for the second time. However, Jitu never realizes on the prospect of sexual gratification that he is gradually deprived of his body parts.
Ma is busy watching TV in a video coach and Om has escaped from the scene leaving Jaya to face the consequence. Now Jaya is shocked when she realizes uh, that Jinny is only a computer generated wet dream. It is old Virgil who is the actual recipient of the organs. Virgil is hungry of youth and who is not satisfied with Jitu's body. Now the old man, Virgil with new body organs, craves for female. He seduces Jaya, but she dislikes the idea of conceiving for a computer image and wants her man to be real. However, Virgil refuses the idea as he is cannot uh, take the risk of physically entering into the infected by the disease of the third world economy. Now, let us talk about the characters of the play. Om Prakash, the protagonist who agrees to sell his organs for money. Jaya, wife of Om, who is in trouble after Om escapes from the scene. Ma, mother of Om and Jitu, who is in her old age days but craves for money. Jitu, brother of Om who is mistakenly taken for organ donation and became the victim. Ginny, an imaginative character of an American wealthy woman who is in need of organ. And Vigil, an American wealthy old man who is the real recipient of the organs. Major themes and other important issues uh, discussed in the play or reflected in the play. The theme of the play vary from helplessness, human relationship to life problems of third world countries. Further, poverty, women's self and commodification of organ donation are the major themes of the play. Let us discuss some of these in detail. Commodification of human body, harvest, harvest is based on the pertinent issue of organ trade in India. It projects the picture of a family which is surrounded by conflict and mess within the family. Om and Jaya are maintaining an unstable marital relationship. In actually, Jaya is carrying on a secret affair with her brother-in-law Jitu. Amidst economic setback and emotional deprivation, Om takes the lead to find out a solution to sustain the family. Om decides to sell his organ to an international multinational company in a return of a limited amount of money. Om is hired by the multinational company called Interplanter to donate his healthy organs to a well-to-do receiver belonging to the West. Padmanabhan deals with this uh, commoditization, this commoditization of the healthy third world body with the help of significant advances in transplant medicine and other technological helps. Om comes home and announces that he has succeeded in getting a new job. He is an eligible healthy donor from India uh, who has sold all of his organs to a buyer in the USA. His ambiguous feelings of both delight and despair persuaded him to take up the job. The delight is expressed when he tells his mother, he says, we will have more money than you and I have names for. He says to Ma proudly, who would believe there is so much money in the world? The despair and wrong choice reveals from Jaya and Om's conversation. Om, I went there because I lost my job at the company. And why did I lose it? Because I am a clerk and nobody needs clerks anymore. There are no new jobs now. There is nothing left for people like us. Don't you know that? Jaya, you were wrong. There are choices. There must be choices. Om, who? I did not choose. I stood in queue and was chosen. And if not this queue, there would have been other queues. The beginning introduces audiences and the readers a dark world of institutionalized organ trade, which is very much open in the third world countries. Manjula's choices of words are very significant to understand the commodification of human body. Like Om says, uh, he did not choose, rather they have chosen him. He thinks he is 
the chosen one that is the luckiest person who is offered this job. Further, when Om's mother also begins to understand the nature of the job, uh, she is also astonished to find out that her son is just paid for nothing. This is the impact of the magical means of capitalist economy on the common man. Thus, through this play, Manjula brings out the two sides and choices one has as it is advocated in the market that is the free and individual choice or even forced to choice. In other words, Manjula tries to make an argument that in fact, these options only make uh, an individual to select it specifically the third world deprived country's citizens. A donor of third world country is allured by money and it is named as free choice. Thus, when reality comes of him, he realizes the grave mistake he has committed. He says, how could I have done this to myself? What sort of fool am I? Thus, the alluring options and the deprived financial conditions forced an individual to make such choices. Otherwise, no individual given an option will be ready to sell his body organs the commodification of the human body has become obvious and gradually started to acquire a legitimate status that too in the name of expression like erasing poverty. These third world bodies are easily available like ready made products that can be sold and bought easily. It does not require much effort or labor such persons to be produced, thus harvest is known as a futuristic play with its extended vision to 2010 that uh, represents the confinement of an middle class family of the third world to the tempting but illegal global economy of the first world. The title harvest seems to be apt as the play deals with the issues of buying and gathering human organs in India by certain groups who sell these organs in the global market. In the play, the members of Om household fall victim of this market in India, which is mostly controlled by the West. Further, um, a harvest is not only about uh, a human organ trade and how it affects the poor, it is also about the overriding presence of technology that intervenes in the human world and governs us. The play represents the battle between man and machine for the possession of human beings and how the financially strong groups and agents take advantage of the modern electronic technology to control the financially weak sections of the society. Further important issues like poverty have been very nicely dealt in the play. Let us discuss about the technological part, technology and gadgets. In the play, Padmanavan brings into discussion the influence of technology in the lives of poor people like Om, who are unskilled in computerization and technology. Moreover, the description of the selection procedure for Om's new job bears witness to the fact that how technology has been used to deceive the poor people by the, by the multinational organ buyers. Soon after the agreement, the house is uh, filled with uh, the technological devices. Everyone now is used to that life, especially Om and Ma. These devices act as a tool to control and discipline the donor and, and, and his family members. This begins when Jini enters into their house through contact module. Padmanavan describes contact module as white faceted globe. Jini enters into their home without entering into the geographical and physical spaces of the third world. Possibly Jini does not want to risk herself, her life by uh, setting her foot into the unhealthy and unhygienic spaces of the donors. Further, through this contact module, Jini can monitor their routine activity without their knowledge. Thus, the contact module plays an important role to regulate and 
discipline the donor's life, so that the organs remain in good condition. In the process, Ginny comes to know after her first interaction or visit that the Ohm's family shares a toilet with 40 other families. To this, Ginny reacts, it is disgusting and I well, I am going to change that. I cannot accept that, I mean it is unsanitary. Thus, on the very same day, uh, the facilitator that is the, the interplant men come to install a separate toilet in their home. Uh, similarly, for healthy food, uh, they first uh, dismantle the family's kitchen and switch it with their own cooking device and jars containing multicolored food pellets. Not only that, the family members are disciplined to follow the strict timings as well. Ginny does it purely from the perspective of her own profit, because she wants their organs to be healthy, so that when she uses them, she is not in trouble. The key understanding of millennial capitalism lies in the particular band of seduction upon which it operates. This seductiveness is what makes this organ trade possible. The third world individuals are seduced into selling organs like kidney, cornea in order to solve their monetary problem. The body is uh, mined for its organs and finally, harvested. Thus, harvest shows the futuristic picture of the modern times, when machines will replace uh, human beings. The play harvest demonstrates that this moderate trade of selling human body parts can be understood in terms of the existing gross material inequalities between the first and third world citizen. So, in this module, we have discussed about the playwright Manjula Padmanavan. We learnt about her life, uh, their literary character. We have also discussed about Manjula's other works and we, uh, we discussed the background and the settings of the play. We discussed the theme of the play and we discussed the greater significance of the play and the greater crude economic uh, reality and conflict between first world and third world, which uh, is uh, reflected by the play. The whole economic trans, uh, transaction and the economic operation uh, on third world by the first world has been portrayed in this play and we have discussed it. And we have also discussed how the technological uh, growth, scientific growth and the whole lot of politics involved in this business of science and technology actually influenced and affected the life of very common people, who even do not have access to those scientific and technological products, but they are they are victimized by those products. We have uh, discussed all these reflected issues and themes of the play in this module. Thank you.